Hey guys, this is Vivek from My Mission Admission. Hi, I am Angar. So uh, we are talking to you live from the New Delhi office of My Mission Admission and um, starting to share with you something interesting. Just a couple of minutes ago, we we absolutely lost the internet connection. Um, you know, it was a huge power cut, and all of us were like trying to see what we can do about the internet. And okay. Okay guys, so uh, once again, this is Vivek from My Mission Admission. Hi, I'm Angar. So uh, as I was telling you, um, just a couple of minutes ago, there was a big internet connection problem uh, in our office and all of us were, you know, we literally went crazy. What should we do? Um, but we kept patient. We, we kept working towards it. Our beautiful technology team just fixed it. And now uh, we're coming live. Now, um, I want to start with why to study in India. A lot of you are excited about higher education and you, you want to move out of the country, you want to study abroad, pursue your dreams, get a better quality life. And this live stream is about how to exactly do that. Now, a uh, little bit about my mission admission. We have been counseling literally thousands of students over the past one year. And what we have seen is amazing feedback from students. Students tell us that we genuinely want better quality education. We want education that is affordable. And after we graduate, we want to have jobs. We want to make money. Guys, we have been working for the past one year in the African countries. Students have graduated after investing three, four, five, six years of their lives. And there are thousands of students who are looking for jobs. And this video is precisely how to solve all of your problems. So what I want you to do is just for the starting, um, if you can like this video, maybe share it with your friends, that'd be great. And uh, then, you know, let's continue. Okay, great. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm Angad. I, uh, I, this is my first live stream with you guys. I'm along with Vivek, one of the founders here. Um, and uh, most of our videos earlier, um, you know, we recorded and, and shared with you our vision why we wanted to get into uh, this particular uh, problem and wanted to solve this for students like you. Uh, you know, one of the reasons that, you know, uh, we, we sort of invested and looked at Africa was that the, the real actual problem, uh, the ground level problem was so apparent, it, it sort of hit us in, in our face. Uh, now we realize a lot of these countries in uh, Africa are, are miles, I mean there's so much to do in terms of development and uh, particularly if they are to develop education is the key area. Unfortunately though at the moment um, that's not there. You know a lot of, we read a lot of reports, we made a lot of high personnel. Uh, and the education system just isn't up to the mark. Uh, now a lot of these students move out of their countries, whether it is from one country in Africa to some of the countries which are slightly more developed or altogether to a new continent, to a new country. Um, traditionally, America, your, a few countries in Europe are considered the premium destinations of higher education, of uh, you know the land of opportunities. You know, and only about 2% of students across Africa are able to afford that kind of education. Uh, in, in America itself, the students who are, um, you know, um, struggling to keep up with the high cost of education. And so and consider this, American students are struggling to pay back their student loans just to get into uh, their postgraduate programs. You know, so they complete their graduate programs and have to work for five, 10 years before they can even dream about going to a postgraduate program because that's how expensive, it's a bubble there. That's how expensive it is. So if American students can't afford that kind of education, what about the rest of the world? What about Asia, Africa, you know, the countries where there is so much aspiration, but, uh, you know, not a lot of, um, you know, I mean, aff affordability is there. You know, a lot of these students can't really afford that those kind of opportunities. So uh, over the last few years, then um, Eastern European markets, um, you know, countries like Cyprus, you know, there's a whole bunch of other countries, um, the offshoots of Russia, and then China became a hub. Uh, a lot of these students get started getting opportunities. And then we realized that what happened with those opportunities? We realized A, the students were still paying a lot of money, you know, um, second of all, the, those countries, particularly China, they are very closed as an economy. While they are, uh, you know, inviting students to come and study, 
China is not known in terms of business for its openness. It's a closed economy. That's why the uh, you know you see some of the big companies like Google, Facebook, Uber. Now Uber is a huge company all over the world. Technology company. It it, it is a ride sharing app uh, from where you can book taxis. And if you were to Google it, you will realize what kind of a company it is. It's a massively successful company all over the world. But in China, it is facing problem. Uh, it, it it had to shut down its operation. Amazon, the biggest e-commerce company in the world, had to shut down its operations in uh, in China because China is a closed economy. Language is an issue. So all of these reasons came up. So then we looked at uh, the, op the know, solution to India. the problem. India, the solution to the problem, the combination of quality, the combination of quality with price and the opportunities. So you get, uh, you know, what is known as after US, the best quality of education uh, around the world uh, due to the affordability and the success rate of the people who uh, study in Indian institutions. Uh, some of the largest companies in the world employ at their top management level uh, people from Indian universities who graduated from Indian universities, Indian nationals or foreign nationals. So, you know, uh, uh, there was a myth going around that India is so powerful in terms of its education system and look at the population. So it's very difficult to get it, right? That's that's also true. That's also true that the, there is a huge population in India and uh, the very few, select few students are able to get through. Why? That was a problem that internally Indian government, I would say 30 years ago, was also facing. In the last 15 to 20 years, India has fixed it. You know, the emergence of thousands of universities and colleges backed by the government massive massive investment phenomenal it's phenomenal you know the the growth in terms of the education setup the infrastructure in all of these universities and colleges uh, you know and the government has been proactive in terms of um, you know putting uh, the right resources the right kind of focus in terms of building an education infrastructure which can serve its population now if india has to grow and compete already in the world india has sort of compete it is competing with the biggest economies in the world. Why is that? Because of the openness to globalization. There are two or three critical reasons. English language being one of the prime reasons. The, the standard of English in India is known all around the world. And, and, the, uh, and the fact that Indians um, as compared to Chinese or Koreans are able to mingle with the top most uh, executives or professionals from Europe or America is, is because the language barrier isn't there. So, uh, you know, to grow these universities uh, and colleges and, the, uh, you know, to make the education environment conducive uh, for learning for even the Indian students, the government made a massive, massive decision. Right. It, it was to invite foreign students that and opened it up, you know, getting foreign students along with Indian students, the multicultural nature of it, you know, it was so, so uh, powerful and, and we are all seeing the results of it. Exactly. And, you know, talking about the international students, there are over 25,000 uh, African students right now in India studying in the in various universities. Now, I'll just pause for a moment and say hello to a few students who've commented. So, hi, Trinity. How are you? Uh, I can see uh, Vim Benshi. Hi, uh, Mansu. Thanks for the comment. You're looking hi, great Mansu. as well. Yeah, so um, good to see you. You know, just... I, I'm just, I, you know, we love to have you guys on our live streams on our, and on our platform and uh, soon a lot of students will be in India. Guys, um, as I was saying, 25,000 African students are already here in India. India is actually the second largest hub for the foreign national. One of the reasons is when the students come to India, they find the education system so good. India has one of the most beautiful and robust forms of uh, education systems that that is out there you know when we started this live stream I also talked about um, you know the job market right there are lots of actually thousands of students there in your country who are graduates but who do not have jobs now Angad right now is talking about few big companies uh, India has given multiple billion dollar businesses not just to India but to the entire world and recently over the last decade startup ecosystem has blossomed in India, which which has resulted in, in a thriving economy. 
guys india is is excelling in every sector you could so call it i'm i'm sorry to uh, you know halt you there vivek uh, mm-hmm. when we talk about startups i just i'm reminded oh, of you yes. and and i want to share here um, with all the students who are logging in uh, that really what what is this startup business you know startup is is looking at an opportunity startup is a form of business which is a new business which right. looks at a problem which looks at a problem uh, and tries to solve using innovative methods exactly. and india is full of these startups and when you have when you ha- have to solve these many problems you need innovative minds where do these minds come from they come from the education sector the education sector with the ability to give these students industry relevant knowledge how the industry with respect to technology is evolving is just so phenomenally fast right. so you need to keep up students need to be aware that uh, in order to get uh, you know a job in order to get a head start to your career it's always important to look 3 to 4 5 years ahead not look 5 years 10 years ago what what kind of jobs were there in the market but to imagine and have a vision of what the job market will be like 5 to 10 years ago and that is where india holds the key because these companies and uh, you know of course we can you can keep writing into us we'll be happy to tell you what these kind of companies are but if you name flipkart snapdeal paytm you know these are some inmobi these are some of the large companies billion dollar companies that have started in india in the last 5 to 7 years there is hype messenger which just uh, raised money enough to come to a valuation of 1 billion dollars all these companies employ so many so many people they employ so many people who are innovative and trying to solve problems right and and all these people are making sure that they get the proper education they are able to understand what the industry requirements are and keep up right exactly and you know a uh, lot of you students come from a variety of different backgrounds some of you students want to study medicine some of you guys engineering some of you guys want to be business professionals maybe study commerce or arts or management guys you know biotechnology core sciences there are you know law. architecture law you know professional courses there is there are tremendous opportunities uh, which are there in india and you know speaking about it th- these opportunities are waiting for you right now as you're watching this live stream and at the end of this live stream we'll be telling you your next step to grabbing these opportunities and um, you know one of the other factors which angad started with is is the cost of education if you talk about the us if you talk about you know because when we talk to students students want to go to us canada australia we are help we, you know we are okay with helping you but we also tell students that a lot of cost is involved right but if you want a, a, you know great quality education with affordable cost and and a path to an ultra successful career in the future india is the place to be right so uh, you know these are some of the things and you know one of the other things is time right you know the first african student that we met in india uh his name was courage and he told us and you know after counseling thousands of students even we realize that time of education is one of the biggest challenges guys if you're studying something in india if you want to be uh, completing your bachelor's degree it will take you less time to complete your bachelor's degree in india as compared to most of the african countries right in, you know let's let's talk about the bachelors in science degree it takes 4 years in some african countries but in india the bsc it's it's 3 years think about time you know guys time is one of the most important factors and it adds up to the cost it adds up to the cost you 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 paying one more uh, you know the fees of one more additional extra years you know and one of the things angad also said was thinking long term you know as we said uh, are you aware of google and microsoft these are one of the most biggest uh, companies the tech giants and the ceos of google and microsoft they are both indians you know not just these two big technology companies i'm sure everybody knows uh, pepsi i'm sure pepsi. everybody uh, is famous with the drink pepsi the owner of pepsico is uh, the the ceo i'm sorry i I'll, i'll correct myself the ceo is indra nui you know and she is an indian the owner of mastercard the mastercard through which you make your payments make transactions your payments. 
Indian. You know, right. some of the largest companies in the world, even the likes of Facebook, Microsoft, uh, you know, Apple computers, the top management, the top engineers, the top scientists are all Indians and who have studied, applied their art and they now want to bring it all back. How better could it be to come to India at a time where everybody, the world is investing in India? You know, and that's where the opportunity. Now, there's something that I want to, uh, you know, uh, specifically highlight here. As a student, we always look at opportunity. Not everybody is, is born with a silver spoon. You know, uh, what I mean by that is not everybody is privileged to, uh, you know, just get everything on a platter. So most of most of us, you know, everybody who wants to make a career has to think, has to think where are the opportunities. and it's when you start thinking like that you'll realize that i need you know it's a win win situation india right now the indian universities right now is opening itself to global foreign nationals you know globally who come uh, and make india's education system uh, a multicultural affair and and which is why my mission admission as a company has been able to attract uh, uh, or, or offer these many scholarships and sponsorships because these universities want us to bring more and more students. They want uh, to offer this level of quality of education to more and more foreign students and that is an opportunity, right? Where, whereas uh, struggling to go to a country where you are not welcome, where there will be language issues. Now I've already spoken about how English is a huge um, you know, huge benefit here because the medium of instruction, even, um, you know, a lot of these places where you go, um, uh, just come talking to people and communication is so easy because English is understood by just about everybody in India, right? You can't say that even if, uh, you know, a lot of European countries, uh, you know, and especially China is very, very particular about their own language. Right. Uh, supposedly, if, if you want to go to Germany now, Germany has top quality education. However, you need to understand German. The delivery is is in German language. So that 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 is a huge, huge plus point there where you can definitely, uh, you know, and, and we're getting all these comments where students. Uh, <laughs> right. You know, so Kenny, uh, Kenny, thanks. Uh, you know, India is great. We love to have you here. John, uh, you know, we'll soon about to tell you how to get in. Um, again, John, thank you for your comment. Safari, hi, how are you? So uh, we are actually coming to the end of uh, this presentation to give you the last step, um, which sums it all. How can you um, get Indian education and what is your next step and what my mission admission, you know, the founders of my mission admission and our team of beautiful, friendly counselors, what they can do for you. Um, so talking about the Indian education, one of the most big factors is cost and one of the most amazing features of my mission admission is the guaranteed scholarship. So, so far on our portal, there are uh, universities which are there. So, so here I'd like to uh, cut Vivek. Again. Yes. So the reason why I wasn't part of the last live stream was we were finalizing some amazing scholarships, right? And uh, uh, very recently we've onboarded because of the hard work that we put in over the last one year, uh, one year for the African students has given these universities an opportunity to look at our services. And we've managed to convince some of the largest and the biggest universities to offer maximum scholarships this year now um, uh, you know it, it's it's up to uh, the most ambitious students the students who are uh, you know really uh, working hard towards their goal who are serious about quality education you know I'd like to uh, also mention here and we're going to do a separate live stream um, the next time around uh, you know uh, which will talk a lot more about what are the requirements in terms of the work requirements and what kind of mindset do these students need to bring when you enroll with my mission admission and um, you know for, for this particular video i'll just stick to the india aspect of it all and uh, let me tell you these uh, universities and colleges that are offering these sponsorships these are on merit basis so our company it is our job to help write a statement of purpose which will define you which will which will enable you to secure a sponsored seat now we are only looking and, and hoping that we, we are able to work with the smartest and the most aspirational uh, students, students who aspire to succeed, who can match our, um, our ambition and our intentions of making sure that quality education is affordable and accessible to all, right? So anybody who's, who's really keen, 
connect with your counselors we'll give you pointers step by step pointers on what to do what how to do. to do and you'll be on your way exactly so um, you know in the last uh, live stream when angad was not there uh, if you remember uh, you know some of you guys were there i remember badmus you were there benedict kenny uh, safari you guys were there uh, so last time i talked about dreams and how important these dreams are for you right now you know 3 4 5 years down the line when you have your degrees in in hand when you guys will be bachelors in something or masters in something you'll come back to this live stream and you know maybe you'll be speaking now inspiring students how i made a decision how i connected with my mission admission people and how they helped me so this is what i want you to do right now you can go to uh, you know the link is up uh, above this video if you're watching the replay mymissionadmission.com is the website if you are talking to uh, a counselor already you tell them i'm ready to get started as a premium member just enroll me and you'll be good to go the the final thing i'd like to add here is the scholarships are uh, there are many however there is a infinite number of students who applied already so to beat the competition take action fast and uh, you know sync up with your counselors ask as many questions as you want to you know we are also available and yes. uh, you know there's uh, kenny who's uh, who's telling us um, you know when when can he send our uh, his own video feed to us we'll be very happy to uh, you know uh, look at your videos please please don't stop just uh, you know by writing just send us just your videos send us your videos if you're watching the replay just share this video um, you know share the positivity and the love that we're all here to share on our the planet is, earth our vision is education for all and right. uh, you know and we are well on our way we we are uh, working hand in hand with some of the most motivated youngsters in this country to make sure there is a change right and we want all your we want support from you students right make sure you uh, you know take this word take this video and and take it to other places take it to places where uh, students really need to have this access a lot of students miss out because they are uninformed they are uninformed and they are misinformed this is the information you need to take to them right exactly. in life we are we are uh, always accessible to whatever problems or uh, questions you have we are right there all right okay so bye guys and we'll see you next saturday on the next live stream um till then we'll chat you on whatsapp and other things bye god bless you bye bye